Okay, what we have here is a stainless steel tubing with a piece of copper tubing, and we're going to uh, use a 56% silver to uh, solder these two together and see how nicely it welds uh, these two totally dissimilar metals together. Using our black flux, we'll put a little on first. Now this black flux, you cannot overheat it. It won't burn. It won't contaminate. Some of the fluxes, they, uh, you heat them up and they burn. And then when they burn, they don't work anymore. That's not true with this black flux. So what we're going to do is put a little heat on the stainless because it's a little bigger and uh, takes the heat, more heat than the copper. We're just going to watch our flux uh, kind of flow. It'll get liquidy, more liquid. So we're seeing the flux start to uh, get real watery and clear. So we'll just put our silver in. Can you see that gameplay, how nice that flows in there? Job well done. And there we have a nice silver joint on copper and stainless. Any ferrous, non-ferrous, copper, brass, bronze, stainless steel, steel, steel to stainless steel, steel to copper, uh, stainless steel to copper as we have here. We have uh, copper to, to stainless steel, copper to steel, any combination. It takes care of it all. And that's a 56%. Done deal. Uh, we're going to use the uh, 56 silver with the black flux. Now what we have is a piece of brass fitting and a copper tubing. So we're going to put brass to copper. You might note that we have a thick brass copper from the glass has to get most of the heat. Once it gets to temperature, the silver just really takes off and it does a nice job. And the putty, when it gets dry, we just simply uh, put it back in the, in the can, add a little water. It's reusable. Just add water to it, keep it moist. What a nice job we did there. All the way around. And there is copper to brass. What we have here is a piece of brass and we have a piece of copper. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this brass and copper together with our 30% silver and again with the black flux. Now this is dissimilar and it, it certainly will work on all ferrous and non-ferrous metals except your white metals. Won't do aluminum or zinc. But we do have products for that. We're going to burn the torch. And we're going to watch this black flux work. It's going to bubble around 
Kind of get a little dry out a little, and then it's going to go back to liquid. So just keep our flames moving. Here, it's starting to get watery. Lay in the uh, sugar powder. There, it's done just like that. Uh, get the pliers. We'll cool this down. Kind of brush off the residue there a little bit. Still a little flux, so you might want to wire wheel it. Goes all the way through the other side. It's very strong. And I keep it up off the table. Because uh, the, if I laid it on the table, the table would take all the heat away from the bottom piece, so it would only want to go to one side. So you want to keep it up in the air, if you can, your parts. You can give it the old smash test. There you go. Obviously, if you're working on brass and copper lamps, home items, hobbies, things like that, this is a wonderful product.